Hello, today we're proudly presenting the new video of Z1 Dashboards. As you know, Z1 Dashboards is the dashboard and telemetry analysis suite working with several simulators. Today we're going to be using the popular simulator R Factor 2. We're going to use this second laptop, which I'll put just here just for this demonstration, to show you a very interesting utility of Z1 Dashboards. This utility is the access onto the telemetry and dashboards from a remote computer. To do this, we must have installed the software Z1 Server onto the same computer in which we are running the simulator. This software is responsible for sending the data to other remote computers in which we have installed the Z1 dashboard. Here, as you can see, I have already installed Z1 Server onto the computer which I am going to run the simulator. When you launch Z1 Server, you will see a very simple main window with only five lines of information. Now we are mainly going to focus here on the last two lines, which is the IP address and the port number, both of which have been highlighted on your screen. We are already running the Z1 dashboard on the remote computer. Now within the general settings window, we need to place the IP address and the port number, which are shown within the main window of the Z1 server. With this done, we have the Z1 dashboard running and connected remotely. Now at the same time information in the main window of the Z1 server changes indicating that it is connected and the data is being transmitted between the two. Now we are launching the simulator and we can already work with the Z1 dashboard on the remote computer. We can choose the dashboards or we can change any configuration exactly like when you operate with the Z1 dashboards on the computer of the simulator. Another feature that we want to show you here is that entering in the Z1 server settings window, it is possible to activate the joystick or wheel of the simulator and you are able to assign two buttons to navigate in the Z1 remote dashboard panels. And we have all done. Now, what we can do is we can go to the track and use Z1 Dashboard remotely. We can change the remote panels with the buttons we just assigned. With R Factor 2, we can use more features of Z1 Dashboards than with other simulators. For example, R Factor 2 generates more output data for Z1 Dashboards than that produced by iRacing. Well, here we are then. We are now using Z1 Dashboard on the Sims computer and at the same time, a second Z1 dashboard license in a remote computer, which could also be located in another location. And a good example of this would be with the spotter. Now we are using another interesting feature of the Z1 dashboards here. The map of the track or any other dashboard can be presented while we're in the garage. In this way, we can see the exact position of the cars on track and any other interesting information which is particularly relevant for the spotters. But we won't get that into that too much as that will be the subject of further upcoming videos in which we hope to introduce more features of the Z1 dashboard. Now last but not least we want to announce that Positive Sim Racing has edited and published a Z1 dashboard user manual in Spanish. Now this covers all pages of the original English document but they're all translated into Spanish. Lastly then, we hope that you enjoy and improve your results with the Z1 dashboard and happy racing. Goodbye.